Hi, it's Nan from Junky Miss Nan. Just working on a master board here for a journal cover. And I pulled out a lot of my scrap paper and what I did first was I piled it up by color so I could just work that way and I'd have to pull out what I need from the tin where I had my papers. So I already went ahead and glued down two pieces of music paper and basically we'll take it from there and see how it works out. Of course, coffee dyed paper is going to be added in there, plain coffee dyed paper. I have paper that's been sent to me by my sister, paper that I purchased, and before I go any further, it is nine inches in this direction and eight and a half up to the top. So we'll make this the part one of several videos on making this cover into a TN journal, travel journal, that will actually be used on places I want to go and I can just record whatever I want and enjoy what I put inside of it. I'm going to put this one coming down in this direction. Choose whatever, whatever papers you want. Be random. Bright colors, soft colors, colors that match, colors that don't. Just go with it. Enjoy yourself. Start tearing. Start gluing and see what you can come up with. I've done several master boards and used them for several different things for bookmarks, tags, cards, just about anything. I'm going to go ahead and put some light colors down first and then I will work with the other colors on top of these. It's real soothing and relaxing. I love it. I really haven't done it in a while. I have one here that I already started. But I did this a little while back ago. I like the way it turned out. This one is nine and a half going up in length and eight and a half going across. And I'm going to work on this one too, but I still have a few little edges that I need to glue down. But I did just want to make a video on how I go about making a cover that's used with a master board. Get that frustration on just tear. It's, it's good therapy. It really is. There's no genius about this. I mean, when it comes to creating something like this, just enjoy yourself. That's all I can say. You can actually use your dressing if you want to go around the edges but I'm not going to do that this time uh, and then I like putting similar colors here going back and forth so that the similar colors are being spread out all over if that makes sense and I am using my stick glue but I'm being very liberal with it so that it really glues down this time compared to the last time. So I have a piece of that there and then I will work on putting another piece on this side. For some reason I pulled out a lot, lot more green than I did in the of the other colors and as you can see the papers in all different shapes and sizes and it's just a bunch of fun. Let's see what other green I have here. I have this one. I'm just going to keep cutting and adding. I made a real big one once, and I mean, I think it was the size of my dining room table from one side to the other in length. And that's where I got all those um, bookmarks and tags and 
so many different things. I really had a lot of fun making that one. Um, let's see. You can use laminating paper to laminate the cover. You can use your Mod Podge medium to cover it. I tried that and it came out really, really nice with the Mod Podge. Laminating paper, of course, is a lot sturdier. You get a lot nicer result. But sometimes we have to work with what we have, and that's okay. If you hear a noise in the background, that's just my air conditioner running and it's kind of loud sometimes. Oops, this one went down a little too far, so good thing about that glue, you can remove it and lay it right back down. Okay, maybe some more music paper in the center, like right here. Just give it a try. This is not difficult. It feels like I'm back in elementary school in my art class. I mean, how many of us did, did, did not do this when we were growing up? I'm sure a lot of us did. And it was just fun. You got grandkids? Give them a bunch of paper and just let them create. You got friends. Have a coffee date and have everybody get together and just create. It's fun. It really is. Let me get some of this pink. Put the flowers on it. It's okay if you get the glue on top of here. You can always cover it up with, with your medium. It's going to cover that up. Just wipe it. Don't want it crooked or upside down. Here we go. And later, once you're finished, if you want to straighten it out with a paper cut or your scissor, you can do that too. So much paper that I just don't know what to do with it all. I've had to destash and just pass some paper on. Here we go with the polka dots. And you could just keep layering and keep layering one on top of the other. All that's going to do is make the cover a lot sturdier for you. Just go back and glue down whatever's loose. If you have any comments, just leave them. I'll get back to them. Any questions? I'll answer. And when you fold the paper, I'm not finished yet, but when you fold the paper, can you just see what kind of cover you're going to have? It's going to be gorgeous. And we just keep layering more and more. I think I have the right side up. Let's see. Maybe here. Kind of tricky if you don't put the glue on the bottom, it will come up. Now, let's see what other color I have some brown polka dot. Might it be too dark for this? But oh, the flower one is pretty. 
but I think I'm going to continue with this pink. Paper, big cats, or big cats, paper. So the more you cut, the more scraps you keep collecting. So I don't think I'll be buying paper for quite some time. Have I have so much of it? There we go with this one. And I will put this one down. On this side over here. I guess I will put some of the words the wrong way. And let's see what else I have here that I might want to use. Huh. I think I'm going to add a little more pink. Okay, I can put this one this way. And This one, let's see, up here, so I'm covering that, like what I like what's looking like so far, okay, let's see here, this one has a little bit of blue on it. angle. Oh, I like this so far. Looks really nice. I can put this one here. It'll cover this. Everywhere you see white, you just keep covering. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else I have. Yellow, maybe a little more coffee dye paper. And this section right here. And something else, but I can still use this side. You know what, I'm going to cut that smaller. There we go. Maybe put a little bit right here. Cover that piece up. And a little more right here. And there's just this tiny bit left here. So I will add a little more green on there. I guess so that the paper does not pop up in the corner. You use your paper to go right over the flap. The bend, I mean. And... Maybe a little more pink. I like that pink color. And put that one there. But I will add another pink piece. There. 
And that's pretty much it. Master board. It can be any size you'd like it to be. Longer, wider, smaller. To make smaller journals. But this is the one I've created today. And I'm going to fold it. See what I meant when the corners pop up? Let's just go back and dab plenty of glue on there. Bunch of glue. And it will stick down. And that's why if you cover it up with Mod Podge, not only will it give it, protect the cover, it will melt, add an extra touch to it, make it look really nice. So that is my master board. TN. Cover. Thank you for joining me. Come back and I will have a part two to this. Bye bye.